next with an episode of Last Day Out of Return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and we've got a date with the newest, coolest place in none other than Last Day Out So hopefully you got your popcorn popped and you are ready for some action coming your way, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And of course, hope we're out this having an absolutely fan freaking testing. They are the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out, whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that indeed do. That's exactly what that joy do do because nothing else put a smile on my face like knowing that hopefully I might be able to bring one to yours in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And hopefully I'll be able to bring a smile to my face as well. I mean, I'm always smiling when I'm recording videos though, man, because it's just such a vibe, such an awesome feeling to know that when I am recording and having a ball and having a blast that there are those of y'all out there who do enjoy the videos. And hopefully I'm able to help bring, a, you know, a little bit of cheer, a little bit of joy y'all's way. But yeah, man, I don't know. It's just such a great feeling knowing that, you know, hopefully I am, able, am, I am able to spread a little bit of cheer and make some of y'all's days better because that's seriously just, I mean, uh, th th there's no better feeling in the world than that. So shouts out to y'all, by the way, for letting me entertain you. I seriously do appreciate the heck out of it. I hopefully that y'all are prepared for some appreciation of killing zombies, baby, because we got a lot of zombie murdering to do. That is exactly what I intend on doing. So enough sob stories, man. All right, long story short, I'm super thankful for y'all. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all coming on out and having a blast, but uh, it's now my turn to go and have a blast slaying some zombies because there's no better feeling than freaking just taking down some zombified scum. And the floater bloater is no exception. If you guys do recall just the last episode of Last Day Out Earth, we actually did just do some major repairs over here uh, within the transportation hub as well by repairing the forklift at the end of the warehouse section. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to go ahead and capitalize on that a little bit. Of course, we've already unlocked this building via the bridge and we'll be able to access that. So the vibes are immaculate. There's no other way of putting it. Of course, we're going to have a little date with destiny via battling the boss man of the area. And we got a date with a few fast rotters and I mean plenty of smaller zombies along the way. And a lovely locked chest that is going to have some pretty good stuff. Yes, sir. Ski three copper bars. And a first aid kit, I'll take that. I mean, if I, you know, if I wanted to get to recycle it, I could recycle some of these, but I got so many of these back at home, man. And I got plenty of goodies from that. And I've got to prioritize what we're putting in our inventory. Can always come back and pick up this loot a little bit later, but what I'm doing is something for the first time when I'm doing like an initial clearing of a zone, man. My mindset is always get the most valuable stuff possible inside of your inventory. And of course, uh, absolutely slay as many zombies as you can along the way, because then when you double on back, things will be a little bit more safer when you continue checking the place out. You know what I mean? Oh, and also really quickly, uh, I, I just realized, I don't think I actually read it. The notes that were over here by the truck, I don't think I've ever seen these spawn here before. The building next door turned out to have a workshop. We brought planks and tables here. Jack tried to think of something that would help us get the boxes under the ceiling in the storehouse, but every time he would just freak out and smash the tables. What's his obsession with those boxes? We'd rather he was just assembling weapons and of course, as we have learned through some of the previous episodes, it is because inside of those boxes are components for drone weapons that assemble, or not drone weapons, but like drone modifications and not just assembling weapons, but assembling modifications for your drone as well. So it sounds like this Jack fella really wanted to get some drones assembled. Unfortunately, I mean, I don't know if Jack's alive. He's probably one of the many zombies we've slain. So I'm sorry, Jack. I'm very sorry about that, bud. But, uh, you know, I got to protect my own skin over here. And that's exactly what we're going to do when we go ahead and take down there's some of the smashes who are going to be swarming us and of course we also are going to have an acid melter and we are already bleeding which is bad oh no and we got dinked by the freaking acid melter it was like one of the last things that i wanted to happen let's go ahead and start healing with our self-healing ability let's go and dodge that because ideally i would like oh no I didn't think he was going to spit three times in a row, man. I feel like usually the acid melter spits like twice in a row, but the third time, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just like, I think acid melters actually have different behavior in different locations. I I think the, and maybe the ones here just nonstop spit and try to obliterate your armor. And by the way, if you want to see how bad the armor is looking, look at that. Already down to half durability, dude. This could spell trouble once we get around the battle in Mr. Boss, man. So I'm getting a little little bit sketched out here. And oh, maybe we'll be able to encounter the new and improved Butcher Boss as well, because I've had a lot of people 
telling me both in the YouTube comments and in the streams that he's got a bit of a revamp start. In the streams, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the Twitch Live TV slash Star Slime streams where we're live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern since I've played the last night. Earth, having a ball, having a blast. Link at the very tippy top of the description. Make sure that y'all go in and pop out over there. We got the face cam on. We got the live chat rolling. And we are having an absolute blast and kicking off the weekend right every single week. Same time, same place. 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you don't know what time that starts in your own local times on Twitch.tv slash Star Slime schedule. Also, a link in the description. And in the video copper, we'll be able to go ahead and help you out because there are a ton of time zones in the world. Like 24 of them, I think, man. I, there's a lot of them. And they can definitely be a little bit on the confusing side. So luckily, hopefully that link should be able to help you out. And then once you know what time, what time that we are starting, one week that is the same time that we are starting every single week, same time, same place, twitch.tv slash stars. I'm just looking forward to seeing some of you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen over there. Not to mention the fact that sometimes we do host little, little giveaways over there. We just had actually like an $800 giveaway going on over there. Actually, not just say it was over $800 worth of giveaway to actually celebrate the new update. Uh, so that was a freaking awesome time. And I healed way too early, but man, I just got so sketched out battling the toxic darters. So that was a bit of a waste of a medkit, but luckily we got another one from that chest that we just looted on up. So not too big of a deal, but uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing some of you boys, some of you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen over there, because it is always an absolutely fun time and being able to interact with y'all as the stream's going on. Of course, a bit of a different experience with having my face there, but a bit of the same because it's last day on it, but but, 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 but it's a little bit different because I'm live too. So y'all can interact with the stream as things are going on and react and literally chat with me and the whole community. Everyone chilling and having a good time. And seriously, the fact that y'all do make it out does help make it that much more fan freaking tastic. So seriously, appreciate that kind of all of y'all who do tune on over there. Yet if you have, and if you haven't yet, hey, no worries. No worries. I totally understand. Sometimes you don't have the time to make it there. But if you can, you really should try because I think it's pretty cool. But I might be biased. <laughs> because I'm the one streaming it. All right, let's go and see what we got over here, though. The first chest of this unlocked section for the bridge repair. Ba Boom! We got a little blueprint coming our way. It is just a normal weapon mod blueprint. Sometimes, I think sometimes you can get a drone one in here. I might be mistaking this for a different chest. Correct me if I'm wrong in that comment section down below, but I swear I got a drone blueprint out of here before. But that may have also been in one of the many chests in the downstairs, which we are now going to enter into because there's a chest over here there's gonna be a chest in the big room and there's gonna be a chest in the little room at the end as well ba boom and of course surprisingly solid loot coming from the transport up which is why i love it so much man not only is it a new location to explore and there's loot here that you literally cannot find anywhere else but on top of it even like the even loot that already exists in the game man like it, it just you, you just get a good haul out of the stuff you know and it is some bloody lovely stuff and we got to be very careful with mr asimov man over here because I'm not trying to get spat on anymore and ooh -wee, we got a little cargo value increase you say oh the freaking phone my friend the supply event is in full swing star what are you talking about oh I'm talking about a lovely event that essentially just gets you bonus stuff for killing zombies so if you're playing the game you're just getting bonus stuff along the way. Hopefully, we'll be able to get one of the highest quality cargos and pop one of these puppies open a little bit later in, in the video because you could really get some good stuff out of the man, including things like purple freaking cargo or purple police station cards, amongst other really good stuff. But uh, before we focus about the good stuff we could get, we got to focus about the good stuff that we've got to use. We got to use some armor piercing weaponry here for this next room. There's going to be chalk filled with explosive armor piercing zombies and uh, explosive riot zombies. Hello, there's one, and we will shortly be followed by the other. I'm just trying to get these explosive zombies to explode while I am from a safe radius away from these guys. And now the nuisance of dealing with a wild pack of riot zombies. As you can see, they are positively menacing with the fact that they have their shields up because when the shields are up, my friends, you are unable to damage them. And when you are dealing with a pack of the riot zombies all at once, it is extra menacing because sometimes the one in the front will have his shield and then, and then, and then when you like go and turn around and then the one that is now in the front that was in the back before will have his shield up and uh, long story short this is what i this is the fiasco i go through with the bunker bravo level three or floor three boss every single time which is why i despise that boss so much man because the little the, the, the little herd the little school of riot zombies you gotta deal with no way no but luckily we got all the time in the world so i am worried i am stressed i'm just over here uh hitting a little switcheroni and turn off the electricity that would have otherwise murdered us if we stepped foot inside of the water puddle uh, little, little, that we just saw a little bit uh, later there. Whoop! Oh wow! 
I'm not gonna lie. This is the first time I've gotten less than five drone parts from this thing. I uh, let me know in that comment section down below, y'all. For those of y'all that are looting this chest consistently as well, I is this new? Or have I, was I just extremely lucky before and always getting sets of five? Because this time I just got a set of three, and I don't know how I'm feeling about that. Let me know in that comment section down below because I am curious. And we, of course, have the most powerful resource of all. Numbers! All right, I ain't talking two plus two. I'm talking the numbers of the snipe squad, of the snipe fam, all of y'all, which we can, you know, just uh, do a little, like, impromptu surveys like that and kind of try to deduce what the heck might be going on. It's just the first time I've ever gotten three instead of five, and I'm upset because I like getting a lot of loot. Ooh Let's not get spat on over here. Thank you very kindly and goodbye to you. I now have access to the chest. I will be taking that. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. We got a little uh, rancheroni there. More cogs. Again, all this stuff we will be returning for a little bit later. Just prioritizing the best of the goods so far. Of course, if y'all do not know over here at the end of this little section, you can actually turn in extra road and blueprints similar to the bunker alpha lobby once you clear the first floor for the or the second floor for the first time and you unlock the overseer's room kind of similar here you trade in blueprints depending on the rarity it gets you progression towards a random blueprint just the way of kind of turning extra duplicate blueprints into something but there we have it that little side room all nice and cleared up so now it's time that we keep on going with the main event ladies and gentlemen i mean i well kind of the main event i mean some might consider the boss the main event which i totally respect because it can definitely get heart pounding man it gets the heart pumping i mean the heart's like always pumping usually but you know what i mean like it really gets it pumping it sends that thing into overdrive but not in like an unhealthy way where like you you might perish just like in a way that gets you like oh 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 panicked you know just a little, little, little panic here and there uh nah 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 we got another acid melter down here we just got to be a little bit careful about this fella and beautiful once you gotta dodge the initial one as long as you just keep on time and the rest of your attacks normally you should be pretty good to go and goodbye to you there is a toxic darter on the other side of here that we got to be a little bit cautious about but that is okay i'm not too worried about that my friends also have i not scanned all of the things okay no so here's the second one uh, actually appearing okie dokie just go ahead and give that thing a little scan around because sometimes the second crate appears a little bit earlier on in the warehouse i think unless i'm tweaking which i definitely might be anyways i digress a drone get out of my back pocket bro dude and that's another thing man i really wish let me know what y'all think about this idea by the way in the comment section like I, I wish we had a dedicated slot to put the drone in the fact you gotta dedicate an extra pocket to it kind of lame uh because then you're if you're using the drone actively you got one gun and medical supplies or you got two guns and no medical supplies or you got two medical supplies and no guns actually i don't think you can do that because you can't even put medical supplies there but you know what i mean just the fact that it's taken up an extra pocket slot is seriously such a bummer i wish it was a little bit more similar to lexi who i forgot to feed before i left home i thought i was missing a fuzzy little friend well, I will give Lexi your dinner later. Don't you worry about that. Oh, I feel awful now. Hi, caramba, bro. All right, onwards and upwards, though. Let's go and make our way down here. Oy, 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 oy. But first, let's go and do this because there's going to be a lot of angry armored enemies that are going to be swarming us in addition to this toxic darter. And I would like to not get swarmed by you guys. So we go and open up that door so we can have a little bit of room to run. And before I even start attacking the carillons, I would really like to take down the toxic darter before things get too carried away because this guy's gonna be like the absolute worst uh, okay is he dead is he dead or is he still alive okay so I, I i think we got him i think we got him i think we're good okay 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 so once we are good with that it just becomes essentially a elongate oh no we are not good we are not good oh that's okay that, that actually could have been really bad oh no that's just a random fast rotter that appeared never mind that thing drew me out i thought that didn't look like the usual guy that we're fighting get out of here fast rotter i'm wasting valuable bullets on you nah Gosh darn it. All right. Well, let me just go and uh, barrel roll our way out of there. I've got a pee, bro. Are you kidding me? Now is not the time for urination. Vitamin P, be gone. Oh, some loot that I got open up. Uh, I will do that shortly here. Gosh darn it. Let me just continue doing a little bit of damage to these guys. Man, the annoying thing is that they just heal every time. And if, you have, if you're dealing with so many of these guys at once, it's just bad because you run from one and then the next one hits you and then he heals and it's just like, ah. 
Ah, but it's all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Usually about one armor piercing weapon is enough to take care of these guys. Uh, and, and the armored enemies over in that side zone. I always bring two just to be safe, just in case, you know. Uh, and they usually drop tickets too. The greens and the yellows are okay. Sometimes if you're lucky, they'll drop reds. Uh, I haven't got those in a while though, but I got one. You couldn't even give me four. They drop like four of everything else. You give me one red ticket game. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Also, I'm going to pee. All right. Because I do not want that to get out of hand in the middle of the boss battle. All right. Because listen, when you have to pee. Oh, when I smell awful. Well, all right. That's nothing new. Throw back to the olden days, baby. Stanky star. All that we got to do is go ahead and rip off some pantaloons. And we're looking good, baby. My pantalones are the source of my power. Wait, my lack of pantalones are the source of my power. Uh, and let's go. I wish that thing was full durability, but I will take uh, over 50% of a pistol durability. Always a nice thing. Love all the guns you're able to get in this location, man. And I mean, I, I was hyping it up before. I mean, it's not an easy location by any stretch of the imagination, but I do love this location for presenting a challenge while also providing pretty gosh darn worthwhile loot, man. Like it, it, it it's a really nice trade off. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me go and see what's inside of this little hidden chest here that you don't see unless you step inside of here. We got some more wrenches. We got some more air filters. A little bit of rubber should we want that. I'll probably circle on back for that just because our inventory is starting to fill on up a little bit and we have not even reached the best chests yet. Uh, let's just go and scoot by you and then scoot by you and here. As y'all can see, we've got our repaired forklift that we're going to be able to go ahead and go up top side. Let's go and throw a little drone over there. Yeah, man, I really wish there was just like a dedicated drone slot for our character. Like, come on, last down earth, you know, and then, and then it could just be an extra button here in the bottom right of the screen. Like, last down earth, that's please. I think I speak for everyone when I say that would be a very cash money thing of you to do. So you should definitely do it. If y'all support this incredible idea, smash the Jesus out of the like button. And if you don't support it, also smash the Jesus out of the like button. Just, just smash the like button. I would like that a lot. But um, get it. I I like it a lot. I try. I try. I'm a pretty funny guy. All right, laugh, laugh, darn it. Yeah, I can hear you laughing on the other side of the screen. Thank you. I I, I appreciate it. Now nah, let's go and see if there's some appreciable loot up in here. The answer, of course, being hey, yes, sir. A little bit of hydraulic parts and some other relatively high value loot that is not the easiest to come across uh, outside of here. That I will definitely be taking inside of my inventory. Um, and I will also go, whoa, 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 hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just drop the copper off. I will come back for the copper. I'm going to grab the gunpowder just because I like explosives and I only have so much room inside of my inventory. But there you have it. We have scanned every crate. That fourth crate, of course, that we just scanned only being accessible after repairing the forklift here. Um, and we now have access to all four crates to choose from for our loot. However, we can't open it yet. We got to go and fight a boss. And I hope that we can beat the boss because our armor, and that's a nice katana over there. I'll come back for that. Uh, our armor is a little bit low durability. Um, but I'm also wearing tactical armor. This is my first time actually going down to tack when I'm looting this place up. I'm I, like the first time I was wearing Kevlar because I had no idea what I was getting into. Uh, this time, or the last few times, been like SWAT armor, you know, still really good armor. But uh, now we're going up to tactical armor, which is still good. Not as good as, you know, the alternatives, but y'all know what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, we'll see how things play out. But before we even think about battling the boss, man. Oh, what's up over here? Random fast router. I, I I probably woke him up from his nap. My bad. I ran by too violently when I was uh, getting chased by those carrions. Um, but all right, all right, all right. On to the second section. Kind of, if you think about it, like the shipyard section. I think that's a good way of thinking of it. Uh, of this location. We're still looking pretty good in terms of weaponry. Switching between the M16 and the Mini Uzi. Showing a little bit of variety. Of course, the big guns that we are saving for the boss. And hey, hopefully we'll be able to see the new and improved Butcher Man. Because a lot of people are hyping him up. And I really do want to see what it's about. When I say new and improved though, like, yeah, I, like it probably means it's going to be harder. Like, that's just something to keep in mind. Yo, these guys heal too. Get that out of here, man. That's kind of obnoxious of you. Ugh. Let's uh, stop that immediately. Please and thank you. And once there's not 10 of you guys storming me at once, it's also a little bit easier to, to handle all of you. 
And there we go. But yeah, a lot of people were saying the Putri got buffed. Bu buffed. Buffed? Buffed? Buffed. Yes. Th they got buffed. He's a little bit tougher than he was before. Ever since I've heard that, apparently, uh, I still haven't seen it firsthand with my own two eyes. So, I don't know. We will see exactly what's going on with that. He's going to be in one of these crates. Hopefully, it'll be the Butcher. Um, because the Miner... I mean, the Miner isn't too hard to handle either. It's just very stressful because very intense music plays. And he's a very fast-moving enemy. And something about being a faster-moving enemy just makes it a little bit harder to deal with. Because, like, the Butcher, you can pretty easily outpace. Oh, I'm also only wearing tactical boots, which might make things a little bit more difficult, too. But, uh, we will see, we will see, baby, just how these things uh, go. So, a little M16 up in there, and then onwards to a couple of midshipmen over here. A sailor right there, crawling out from the poop deck. And the last midshipman that we have to worry about. And uh, what's up in there? Sailor, nothing too crazy. No one else crawling out. Sometimes, actually, depending on the note that spawns in, uh, there's a particular note that you can read that actually like summons a secret loot pile that spawns into uh, into the ship. We actually did it. I don't know if I did it on video, but I think it actually, I was lucky enough for it to happen uh, during the stream. So yeah, that's apparently a possibility, but now, hey, y'all know the old saying, if it's popsicle, it's possible. And, uh, I don't know, man, there's either gonna be a minor popsicle inside, or a butcher popsicle, and we, we gotta take one of them down. I really hope my armor holds up. I'm, I'm seriously slightly concerned. But you know what? We'll be fine, man, we'll be fine. When have we ever met a challenge that we aren't prepared for? Oh, a challenge we aren't prepared for! I mean, I'm prepared, but like, ah! Uh, I just gotta be careful. We just gotta try and get him to do his like area of effect attack because like when he does that, yeah, beautiful. Then we can get a little bit of distance from this guy. And uh, as, yeah, as soon as we just get him out of the cycle of doing like normal attacks, beautiful, man. We can just go ahead and wail on this fella. We just want him to do as many of those area of effect attacks as possible. Oh no, but we don't want to get caught in them. That's where the trouble begins. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's go ahead and get out of there. He's just gonna keep doing that. We're just gonna keep on shooting him safely from a distance. As eventually, he's gonna start doing some like bigger area of effect attacks. But okay, beautiful. This is exactly what we were looking for right here. We're gonna wanna heal every- Oh no! Bro, the freaking, uh, the freaking things were getting in my way there. Well, we should be A-OK. -okay. We're doing good damage over here to the miner. We just continue trying to outrun him a little bit. And he is gonna do, oh yeah, that attack right there. That we want to be definitely not getting caught inside. That could spell quite a little bit of trouble. But all right, all is looking decently under control. We are not too stressed. We ain't sweating. Okay, I, I mean, maybe I'm sweating a little bit, man. But like, uh, it, it's, a, it's a normal amount of sweat, I swear. It's, it's not excessive sweating this time. Oh no, Ooh, that could've been bad. Okay, is this scar gonna last me enough to take down the miner? Because I'm kind of worried that this thing's about to break, like, right before this guy dies. That is actually exactly what just happened. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Uh, we're just gonna wait and just have him, uh... Actually, you know what? My freaking armor, every time he hits us, is we're doing damage to him. So I'm gonna punch this guy to death. Get over here, miner. Get over here. I'm punching you to death, baby. And then if you decide to hit me... Ow! You also are gonna get hit, but... See ya! Boom! Pow! Right in the kisser, baby! Yeah, boy! Yeah, if you don't know, this armor set that we got back from... I forget what season it was, but man, there was uh, an event about a year ago, I want to say. Uh, it was like the Ceasefire Fair or something. It, I, I don't even know. Y'all would have to go back quite a few videos to find that one. Uh, but essentially, this armor, this outfit you could unlock, and this is the only outfit in the game that actually, I mean, I, there's another one that has a skill. This is the only one that helps you out in combat. Uh, essentially, every time an enemy hits you, you do eight damage back to him. Which is pretty freaking cool. Because uh, I, that, uh, that eight damage, as you all saw when the miner was attacking us, ignored his armor. Like, we were suffering five, or like, we were doing five, ten damage to the guy. With scar bullets, he hit us. Oh, it was a little, little, little more than that. And oh, there was a bit of a fiesta going on in here. Look at, look at this, look at this. Well, that's a party that went a little too party hardy. Yo, what is this over here? And a fast biter that had a, I don't know if y'all saw in the mini map, a yellow outline around him. Is there some sort of event going on where killing that fast biter would 
get us some sort of special loot also on the supply side of things. Uh, I, I actually can't believe that we are not getting more points from all the killing that we have done at this location. We're only at 219. I really feel like that should be higher. Uh, but whatever, I digress. Uh, so yeah, nothing good inside of this chest, unfortunately, except for a dead guy who had a pretty good time in there. Uh, and then this last chest, or this last crate is gonna be where we can find, that's not the crate, that's the one that we already opened. Uh, the last crate is gonna be where we can go and find a pretty freaking good chest. Probably the best chest outside of the one that we gotta spend, uh, the boss loot on to open. Like, what we are going to be getting out of this is going to be cash money, baby, as uh, as some might say. Whoa, bang! Oh, I was hoping for a little better than this. All right, well, sometimes it can be even better than this. I mean, you, like, the crossbow is a bit of a mids weapon to get out of this. It's just, like, I don't know. I mean, it does good damage. It does 70 damage, man, but just such a slow-firing weapon. I mean, I'll, I'll circle back for that, though. Don't, don't, don't you even worry about that, Sonny Jimba. But uh, this other stuff here... I will also circle back for it, but all right. With that, every chest inside of the location has now been opened, so it's time for us to go and claim what is going to be ours. It is time for us to put the key to use and unlock a lot of loot. But first, we gotta unlock some doors, because when that boss battle begins, you get locked out of all the other doors to make sure that you don't like uh, accidentally climb, or not accidentally, but like on purpose, climb up, climb up ladders and like avoid the boss or something like that. But uh, as I was saying, whoopang, the cargo delivery terminal activating the card. And with that, we can now access the computer and see what loot there is to pick from. And we are lucky because we got the good chest for the second crate. This, like, essentially what I believe happens is that each crate that you get, like the first one, second one, third one, has one of two possibilities. There's like the, the aid one can spawn in or another one that's like drops like guitars and like, you know, motorcycle armor and like just very unique loot chance of getting the vinyl uh, for the, uh, for the record player associated with this location. Uh, so a bunch of things on that side of things. Uh, for the second one, I forget exactly what the other one is. It's like a bunch of parts for repair and like vehicle parts. Uh, but the one that you're really crossing your fingers for is actually this chest. And arguably this is the best chest inside of the transport up because you have a chance at getting copper wire, which you actually need. And the only other way to get like this copper wire and some of this, those, the other resources in this chest that I'm gonna call out is from some of the highest leveled workbenches in the settlement, which is very expensive. And this is a lot more reasonable way of getting it. But you gotta get lucky and get this particular crate here and you can get copper wire, you can get iron frames, and you can also get uh, iron rods, all massive. Uh, because what you're gonna be able to do is iron rods and copper wire is actually gonna be essential for A, building our drone upgrade workbench, and B, for upgrading or for repairing the watchtower in the swamp and progressing the drone quest line that we are currently stuck on. Uh, now, the third one over here can actually either be an arms crate or a police station crate. The police station crate can drop purple cards, pretty freaking good. Uh, and then the fourth one is this classified crate, which can drop drone parts or drone blueprints, armor piercing weapons, freaking tactical backpacks. Overall, really good stuff. I haven't yet opened one of these. And I'm unfortunately not going to open it today because we were lucky enough to have this chest spawn in. As soon as this, like, as soon as the other version of this chest spawns in where we can't get, like, copper wire and some of this other ultra rare loot, we'll pop that open. But since this is here, we got to go ahead and unload it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we're getting iron rods, copper wire, and iron frames. Please, big buddy, no whammy, 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 big buddy, no whammy. Boom, baby! That's nice. That's, that's nice. We could have got lucky. I've gotten six rods within one of these before, but I will happily take the amount that we just got. Uh, Whatever we can send to VIP storage, I'll send. Again, yeah, not not gonna be a lot uh, over there. Uh, the I like, man, 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 man. Okay, I gotta clear out a little bit of inventory room. And all right, we're back. Put a few things away. I'll come back for them. Don't worry. But we should have a, a decent amount of slots here. There are a few things that we 100% want to grab. No iron frames, which is a little bit of a bummer. But a hey, yo, I'll still take it. Not complaining here. Uh, do love to see the ash planks appearing over here. And yeah, it's gonna be grabbing all of these resources that we possibly can. 
And uh, I'll put a few more things away. Hold up. And perfecto. There we go. Inventory is filled up. This is all of the highest value stuff that I want to go and run back to our base immediately because especially the copper wire and the iron rods, just 10 out of 10 stuff that we absolutely want to ensure we save up because that is again how we're going to be repairing the watchtower and uh, the other thing that i can't remember because i have the memory of a goldfish building the drone upgrade workbench and from what i have heard there are some cash money drone upgrades as well that you can build including one that literally sends out a grenade for free at your enemies amongst other stuff which like i don't know about you sounds pretty nifty but uh before we even get into all of that there's something really really important back at home that we gotta get into and before we get into this by the way make sure to subscribe with that notification bell and ladies and gentlemen boys and girls to stay all the way in the loop with all things last day on it as we continue you covering new updates information about upcoming updates any and all that type of jazz because there's plenty of that uh coming your way and you better have those freaking twitter fingers ready to go because i'm gonna want to hear what y'all gotta say in the comment section about this because this update introduced something that we've actually been waiting years for outside of the transport hub you know outside of any new locations outside of new loot and all that it also introduced something that we've never seen before. We've seen it teased, but we've actually never known about these things. And it was Star, what the heck are you talking about? I'm talking about the rest of the active skill mods in Last Day on Earth. This is the first time in Last Day on Earth that it actually shows you what the active skill mods do before you assemble them. And that's huge because that means for these active skill mods, we now know what every active skill mod in Last Day on Earth actually does. Unfortunately, and I am so sorry to say this, you can't actually assemble these yet. You cannot actually unlock the blueprints for the rest of the active skill mods, but at the very least, for the first time ever, it at least tells us what the heck they do. So we're gonna do a quick little recap of all the active skill mods that were not yet in the game to kind of see what we can expect. And this one is starting off with a bang because for the mini Uzi, you are gonna be getting the rapid fire ability, which deals damage to all enemies in the attack radius, which actually sounds a lot like the shotgun spread, the shotgun or rain attachment that we freaking love uh, to use. Damages all enemies in the cone attack area. It appears like the mini Uzi is going to be doing something a little bit similar with this attachment, not to mention bonuses, the critical chance and critical damage on top of it. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. This is going to be one of the few weapons in Last Day on Earth that has a radius area of effect attack associated with it, because that is a really hard thing to find, usually reserved for explosives, you know, the grenade launcher attachment for the AK, uh, the shotgun spread attachment for the shotgun you know in real uh, grenades of the mgl it is not an easy thing to do damage to enemies in a big area of effect uh, of attack but this is going to change that now the other site is going to be the controlled burst increases the chances of critical damage probably just going to be a limited time thing where for i don't know if this is going to be how long but let's say 10 seconds 20 seconds you have a better chance at doing critical damage and the cool thing about this is that it gets you a lot of stability uh, on the site side of things, which is going to be interesting because that might have a pretty like that. That might this might just be a good mod to have because of all the stability that it grants you uh, via the site on top of the damage that it gets you. But then on the shotgun, there's only one active skill mod. We already got it. We love to use it. But the Winchester has got two more coming its way, and also one of them happens to be very very interesting careful shooting the weapon doesn't break when shooting not to mention more damage and more speed how is this going to work probably similar to the other one where for a limited time when this uh uh active skill mod is active when it's activated you just won't lose durability on the winchester which i'm not gonna lie is actually kind of huge and would make the Winchester a lot more attractive of a weapon if you literally, like, just don't even have to worry about losing weapon durability, you know? It's like a limited time nail gun, in a sense, in that you just don't lose durability when you are using it. And then, oh, of course, we have the tactical receiver with the tactical reload increases shooting speed. Also seems pretty promising because the Winchester can be a little bit slow uh, to fire, so both very promising mods looking forward to that. I don't, I mean, so far, though, I think the Uzi one, this one, is just definitely catching my attention uh, the most. AK, we've already got both of them of course the knife and the grenade launcher on the vss side of things 
there is the bipod which is interesting uh deals critical damage to all the enemies on the line of attack you can't move during this this is probably this is probably gonna be an area of effect attack that shoots in like a straight line and anyone stuck in that straight line they're gonna do critical damage to all of them but the fact you can't move during it a little bit of a bummer uh i don't know how to feel about that that that, that might be kind of i don't know i don't know i don't know uh, over here, similar ability for the Scar. Meh, not too hyped about that. And of course, we already have the other one uh, here with the Staggering Shot, which deals damage to all enemies on the line of attack. Uh, if we move on to the M16, we've already got both active skill mods for that. Uh, the Zip Gun already got the active skill mod. The Bow and Arrow, we've already got the active skill mod. And the Spear, which I actually am very intrigued by because this is the cheapest weapon in the game to create. And this active skill mod, low-key is a good one the champion blow deals damage and stuns enemies in the attack radius whenever this skill might like th this might be like my second favorite not in terms of like power but just the fact that having an active skill mod on a weapon that costs you three wood to create would be crazy especially when it deals damage in an attack radius similar to like the mini uzi attack obviously not as much damage it's a wooden spear and it stuns all the enemies in there like uh, low key like i don't know man that's really close to being first place to me just the fact that uzi is probably gonna be doing a lot more damage with this active skill mod but this one it, it has a stun on top of it so honestly the uzi might be like 1a this might be 1b for me very excited about that baseball bay we've already got that makes the enemy bleed uh the plank with nails powerful strike stops the enemy kicks them back yada 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 machete already got that the cleaver nothing there uh that thing nothing there the sledgehammer oh there's something there baby the gas tank that sets enemies in the attack radius on fire it loses a ton of damage but this is going to be something that literally just sets all the enemies near you on fire how can you not love that being able to ignite enemies something that otherwise is reserved for the likes of the flare gun for the likes of the slasher limited edition weapon like once this active skill gets unlocked for the sledgehammer you're gonna be able to set enemies on fire in an air and again the fact that it's an attack radius and you're gonna be setting everyone on fire is huge to me like i mean probably this is gonna be behind the wooden spear i mean okay it's kind of hard to rank them man i just i think the gas tank the mini Uzi area of effect and the spear are like my top three. And it's hard to pick a particular order with those, but I am so, so, so freaking stoked for each and every one of them. And unfortunately, that about does cover it in terms of the active skill mods. Hopefully this does, you know, indicate the fact that they finally detailed what active skill mods we can expect. Hopefully, in addition to getting active skill mods, finally, for some of these weapons, hopefully we'll gain the ability to mod some new weapons as well. VL, maybe there's just going to be a big weapon modding update coming in the future. That's actually something I'd love to see because it'd be great to be able to modify, you know, our equalizer, our neutralizer, all of our armor-piercing weapons that currently do not accept weapon mods. I think that that would be really cool to be able to toss weapons on them, let alone imagine some active skill mods for those puppies. Mm-mm-mm. That would get crazy, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. But there you have it. A sneak peek at all of the active skill mods coming to last out Earth at some point in the future. When is that point? I do not know. But I am excited for it because those are going to be some awesome skill mods. And let me know in that comment section down below what out of the new active skill mods excites you the most. Which one you're looking forward to the most. If you can't pick one, give me like a top three or something like that. And then also let me know your like top three skill mods just in general. You know, not just new ones coming, but with the new ones in mind. Give me like a top three or a top five you're looking forward to. Obviously, we don't get to see these new ones in action yet, so it might be hard to judge. But based off of the sound of things, let me know in that comment section down below below what y'all are thinking about those but with that said with that done ladies gentlemen boys and girls that's gonna go ahead and start breaking down this episode of last day on earth when we return more now factory transportation hub runs and hopefully we should have enough resources to either build up the drone upgrade workbench or to repair or do the drone quest line at the third and final watchtower inside of the swamp and further advance that quest from the new update so still so so much for us to cover and we're gonna continue covering it absolutely asap that's gonna start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys a whole lot of watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya